and you can use whatever MOSFET you want in this circuit. Um, it's not critical, as long as it's an N-channel enhancement mode MOSFET. Whatever you got on hand will work just fine. Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're gonna to make a really simple delay circuit. The way this circuit works is you press the button and it'll activate, in this case, an LED, but you could put whatever component you want here for a certain amount of time, which is controlled by the circuit, and then it will shut off. So let me show you how it works. It's really simple. This is our nine volt rail and our ground rail. And the first component we have is the switch and the next component is our capacitor whoops drew that backwards didn't I and it's C1 and in this case I'm using a 22 microfarad and that's part of the timing component so feel free to play with that and adjust it uh, the next thing we have is our LED or you could use a buzzer or, you know, whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. And then a current limiting resistor for the LED. And that's going to go into our MOSFET. And then we're going to have another resistor, and this is our main timing resistor right here, which goes into the gate of the MOSFET and over between the switch and the capacitor. So that's C1, this is R1, R2, this is Q1. Okay, this can be D1. <laughs> now, like I said, the timing is going to be controlled by these two components here. R1, somewhere, for, for a decent delay, you want somewhere between a meg, mega ohm, and 100 mega ohms. And say between uh, 10 and 100 microfarad here will give you, uh, you know, a decent delay of anywhere between minutes and hours. So let's take a look at the circuit in action. So here's our circuit. We have the switch. We have our 22 microfarad capacitor. And we have our LED. Then we have our MOSFET. In this case, it is the IRF 23, IRFZ, oh my goodness, IRFZ34N. For some reason, I have the greatest trouble in the world saying that MOSFET. And now the gate of the MOSFET is attached to the switch, and it is also attached to the resistors. And I've got three separate resistors here. This is a 10K, 82, and a 1 meg to show you the effect of switching the timing by switching out those resistors. And it's just being powered, in this case, from a 9-volt source. 9-volt battery will work just fine. So, without further ado, let's zoom out a little bit. And we'll start with the 10K resistor, the smallest resistance value. And we press the button, and the LED goes out after about a second. Pretty quick. Then the 82 kilo ohm resistor, you're going to get about, what, three, maybe four seconds. That's about it. And then the large one I have on here is a one mega ohm resistor. And it's going to give us uh, somewhere about a 20 second delay. I didn't time this. But this circuit could be useful for, you know, if there's something that you want to turn on after you leave a room or, you know, something like that, this will make an easy circuit to do it. And as, and as you can see, you have what? One, two, three three components plus you know whatever you're turning on and, and here's the beauty part this doesn't even have to be an LED or a buzzer 
you could send that signal out somewhere else. You could send it to an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi or anything else you want. And there you go. It's out. So changing the t those resistors changes the timing on our circuit. Very simple one button circuit. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. And a big thank you to all my patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Oh, <laughs>